So in this video, we're going to be talking about why you should avoid the ALX software engineering program altogether. Now, in my other videos, I talked about why I dropped out, like this one here. And I also talked about what you should do next if you drop out, right? But today is going to be different. Today, I'm going to be trying to explain to you why the program is enough for you. Now, if you feel subscribed already, I think you should do that right now. Because what would it cost you to actually subscribe to my channel? You're enjoying it already. I am also going to answer some questions in this video. Some of the questions that have actually risen from my past comments. So let's go. Number one, the ANX software engineering program doesn't seem to be designed for newbies and individuals who have never written code. The truth is, when people talk about how the ANX software engineering program is designed for just about anyone, I find that difficult to believe because I know how to write code and the program doesn't seem like something that was designed for people who have never had any experience. One of the reasons why I able to say this is because of the speed. We are expected to know so much and learn so much in such a short time. Now for people who have not seen this before, I don't think that's really possible. And here's the thing, almost everyone I've actually spoken to who have graduated from this program had had an experience with software engineering prior to signing up. So it means that the majority of people, or even everyone, who have finished the ALX software engineering program have been in a software engineering capacity at some point in their life. It could be a computer science degree, it could be a diploma somewhere in writing code, it could be maybe internship with a back end or front end or something. But it just doesn't seem like the people who are making it out of the program are newbies, were newbies by the time they were joining. If you're watching this video and you've finished the ALX software engineering program and you started as a newbie, reach out to me and let's have a conversation because I haven't seen anyone. But two, the ALX software engineering program will last for 12 months, but doesn't stop there. If you think that uh, you're only going to dedicate 12 months of your life to software engineering and then we're going to come out with a degree and then you're going to get that job and that, that'll be all, you're wasting your time. Software engineering is the only job in the world where people pay you to learn. Because you keep learning new things. By the time you're done with the 12 month program, there'll be more languages to learn. There'll be new problems that have never ever happened before. There'll be nowhere to copy the answers from. There will be more real life scenarios for you to apply yourself in. There'll be more conversations to be had. You would have less time and less time to do any other thing. So the ALX is only preparing you for what you're about to face. In the actual market, software engineers spend about 48 hours staring at the computer, not even knowing exactly what they are looking at until they miraculously or luckily find the answers. And I said in the other video about how the major skill in software engineering is knowing where to look for answers. And some people have actually commented that, you know, Stack Overflow has been a very good resource for them. So if you think about this, if you're thinking about this ALX course like a trendy new hobby or a trendy new thing to just jump into and, you know, get that certificate. So wasting your time because it is going to be a lifestyle. By the time you're graduating and getting that job, we're going to spend all your time. It's going to take all your time. It is costly, but it is rewarding. It's rewarding because the compensation for your time is really handsome. You're going to be getting some of the best salaries across the world as an African techie. However, you should also realize that if you think or if you have other dreams, you have other dreams to do other things and these dreams don't align with technology, these dreams don't align in software engineering, the ALX software engineering program is not for you. You can't do it as a side hustle. Number three, if you don't like mathematics, if you failed for the maths in school, if you don't like logic, if you don't like flowcharts and things that have to do with numbers, this program may not be for you. Because software engineering is really heavy on mathematics. It's really heavy on, you know, rules or logic and one plus one equals to two, x plus y equals to z. The reason is because this is how computers communicate. Computers rely on instructions and instructions are written down in mathematical. I'm not saying you should stay away from software engineering if you don't like mathematics. But this program is accelerated and you wouldn't have enough time to learn about Fibonacci within the program in a week or two because there'll be so much more going on around. Rather, I would advise that you go to other courses, do it at your pace, probably take a diploma, probably you know, learn some things on your own before approaching the program, learn Git, learn Python, or learn C. 
to make things easy for you. Now we're going to be answering some questions. Let's go on. Now this question is from Aditunji Adams and it says, software engineering is easy if you have the skills. Notes, no career is easy, even football, tailor furniture. You have to have the skill before you can succeed in the career. ALX is just a rubbish program. Well, Aditunji, I will not say that ALX is a rubbish program. I would say ALX is a difficult program. And when you say software engineering is easy if you have the skills, I don't know what it means. I mean, software engineering requires the skills, right? It's easy. So the reason why we are taking the ALX software engineering program is because we want to have the skills. Thank you for your comment. Alberto Cookman says, if I sign up, will I get stipend and laptop? The answer is nope. You will not get a stipend. You will not get a laptop. In fact, ALX is giving you a scholarship, so you should be grateful for that. Hambaroku Ibrahim Jetier says, Hello, WOG. I have a question. How is how the time is measured? Is it by the fact you watch lecture on Udacity or what exactly? Thank you for your video. Um, you have a platform called, you're signed into a platform called the internet and you get timed tasks. Now there's a count, there's a clock. It counts down from when the assignment is given to when you are supposed to submit. And within that time, you have things you need to pass. So it's like a, an exam. And if you get the answers correctly, you can just click submit and then you're good for the period. Balele Mafo says, I'm doing the LX and I'm working full time. The main thing is people think they can work and do LX and have an amazing social life, which is definitely not possible. I go to work and I do LX and that's about it. I leave no time to do anything else. I do about six to seven hours a day during the week and I do about 13 to 15 hours on Saturday and Sunday. It's possible if you sacrifice a lot and understand that you have this opportunity and can't afford to take it for granted. I am currently sacrificing everything, my social life, dating life, Sometimes family and friends, and that's the reality. It's a short-term sacrifice for long-term goal, which is possible you should just put your head down and do the work. Well, I can't agree less. Love of sacrifice, um, if you're going to actually pass the LX, you have to give everything. Like, you literally have to give everything. You have to, it's not, it's not 10 hours a day, it's actually a whole day, right? Because you're not going to pay this program with a boyfriend that requires you to give them about eight hours of your day or a baby that requires a lot of your day or you know a job or a master's degree or a social life or anything right it's a short-term sacrifice and just like i said man, it is a lifestyle you're getting introduced to you're going to be a software engineer at the end of 12 months but it doesn't get easier than that it's going to take even more of your time right so it's a sacrifice However, the reward is huge, but you should be ready for it as well. Also, if you are taking the ALX course and you are excelling at it, please be honest with people. Tell them the truth about your competence. Tell them about your experience. Tell them that you already know how to write code. You already knew some things about it. You've worked here and worked there, and you're not a total newbie for it, right? So thank you so much. Those are the questions I'm going to be answering for now. In my next video, I'm going to answer some more questions. I'll see you soon. Make sure you check out this video and this one where I talked about the Alex as well. See you guys.